Let's solve equations with the variable on both sides. Equation number 3. Negative 9x minus 21 equals negative 2x. Step 1. Combine the variable terms on one side. Now in this case, we have a variable term on both sides of our equation, and we also have the right side of our equation only having a variable term. So in this case, it would make more sense to eliminate the x variable term from the left-hand side and bring them all just to the right-hand side. So now we need to use an inverse operation, an additive inverse operation, to remove a negative 9x, the whole term. The opposite of the whole term would be to add 9x. And if we're going to do it to one side, we need to do it to the other side. Now evaluating, the negative 9x and the positive 9x cancel out, leaving us with just a negative 21 on the left side is equal to negative 2x plus 9x. Here we combine these two terms, a negative 2 and a positive 9 is going to be a 7 in the positive direction. So a 7 positive 7x seven is, is what remains on the right side. Step one is complete because we have combined the variable terms to one variable term on one side over here on the right. How did we combine the variable terms on one side? For problem number three, we combine the variable terms onto one side, in this case onto the right side, because the right side already has only a variable term, so it made more sense to get rid of the variable term from the left side, leaving the numeric term on the left side. Step two, solve the equation. Here we need to do one step to finish off this equation. We need to undo multiplying seven times x so that we can get this x all alone. We need to get rid of this seven coefficient and we do the multiplicative inverse, which is to divide by seven so that seven divided by seven equals one it leaves us with an x on that right side. And we need to divide by seven on the left side as well to keep the equation balanced. Now we can get down to our final stage here and let's start with this left hand side, negative 21 divided by a positive seven. 21 divided by seven is three and the answer will be negative because we are dividing a negative by a positive. So negative three is equal to x. To check our equation, let's use our Desmos trick one more time. So here are the two graphs. In red is the left-hand side expression, negative nine x minus 21. In blue is the right-hand side expression, negative two x. And where these two meet, is at the point negative three, six. And the x value of this ordered pair is negative three. And that is also the value that we found when we solved using our inverse operation. So negative three equals x is the correct answer. We have checked it using Desmos. You are now ready to solve equation number four with the variable on both sides. And once again, like the previous problem, when you get to the end, there will be a Desmos picture with a link that will send you to a graph with both the expressions so that you can check your answer as well.